Welcome to 401k Maneuvers two-part video series, how to read a 401k statement and actually understand it. In our first video, you will discover why you want to open and read your statements and how to read and understand the front page of the summary of your 401k. Make sure you subscribe to our channel below and ring the notification bell to get notified when we launch a new video. Ben Franklin says, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So why should you open and read your statements? One, you get to see how your 401k is performing. Two, you can now understand what you're paying in fees. And three, this is the part of your retirement that you actually control. And here's what I mean by that. In the three-legged stool of retirement, there are pensions, social security, and personal savings, which includes your 401k or workplace retirement account. Pensions, for the most part, are no longer a part of any workplace. If you still have one and you're one of you are one of the lucky few. Next is Social Security. We hear daily the problems with Social Security running out of money or delaying the dates which you were, may receive your income. The last section is personal savings, which includes your 401k. Personal savings is the only leg remaining that people can count on to support them in retirement. Make sure you check out our blog post, which has a checklist you can use to optimize your retirement savings and take control of your financial future. The link is below in the comments. Now, who am I and why should you listen to me on this subject? My name is Brian Neff and I'm one of the founding partners of 401k Maneuver. And I was there where you are today. Before my 20 plus year career in finance, I was a factory worker. I didn't open my statements either. I was embarrassed to ask questions on it and was intimidated by the guys in the three piece suits who came into our shop. Funny thing is, these guys didn't come out to where I actually worked. They spent their time in the office where the owners were. They were helping them with their accounts while us in the shop didn't have a clue if we were on track for retirement. And when I left to start my career here, they called me for the very first time. After 15 years, they finally called. And why'd they call? To tell me my account balance didn't meet their $50,000 minimum and I had to move my account elsewhere. No more folks, we are here to help. So let's get started. There are hundreds of different types of 401k statements based on the company you work for and the plan that you are in. The following is just an example of what is on most statements today. A normal front page of a 401k statement will have the following information, usually a quick view or a summary of the whole account. Most of us, if you open your 401k statements, never go past this first page. Am I correct? With some of us, don't we just look to say, oh, here's where I was last last quarter. This is where I am this quarter. Oh, I made money and or I lost money. And then we put this statement away because we don't understand the rest of us. So here's the four different parts. Basic information, account summary, investment allocation summary, and you'll probably see a risk analysis or retirement goal section. So what we're gonna to do today is cover each in detail. First is the basic information. So here's the basic information that's on a 401k statement. First of all, you'll see your 401k plan name and investment plan sponsor contact information. This is usually the broker. You'll also see the name of the 401k plan. It might be ABC, D, 401k. And you may see the sponsoring firm's name and the person's contact information. Next, you'll see contact information, your contact. This is your basic information, such as your name, address, phone number. 
you always want to make sure that this information is correct. If you move, you want to make sure you update that information on your 401k. Uh, you'll see a statement period. You'll usually say from whatever date to whatever date. Your 401k statement usually comes quarterly and it will detail everything that happened during this time frame. Next, you'll see on some, you'll see your beneficiaries. You want to make sure that you check to see who you have listed as beneficiary. If this is not printed on your statement, contact your HR department to find this information, especially if something has changed in your life. What if you know you was going to leave your 401k to your spouse and you had a divorce? If you didn't change that information legally, if something happened to you, God forbid, the company would have to pay out your ex-spouse your 401k and not your new spouse if you remarry. So you want to make sure you update that all the time. And you might see your personal rate of return. Now this could be per the period, year to date, or since inception, or a combination of all three. So basically what this is, is what you have earned in your 401k account per the period stated. Next section. Your account summary. This is basically just a glance of your account. Uh, this can differ greatly between companies and your options that are available to you. So here are a couple examples. And the first one up above here, we've got um, your beginning balance as of date, your contributions. This is the amount you put in either pre-tax or post-tax. You've got the employer contributions here this is the amount the employer puts in for you. Fees, deductions, loan payments, all that information is right here for you. It could be administrative fees, brokerage fees, or transaction cost. And you want to check your website for more information of the plan where your 401k is held. It might show any distributions. If you've taken funds out of the account during this period, it will show any withdrawals here. You'll see your investment gain or loss and a breakdown of the of the gains and losses during that period. How about uh, the dividends and interest? So let's say you've got something in your portfolio that's paying a dividend. This is where a company may distribute a portion of their earnings to you. Interest is the amount earned for holding an investment like money market or bond funds during a specific time frame. You'll see an ending balance as of date, a vested balance. This is how much of your account is yours if you leave the job. This is usually scaled over a three or five year period depending on your company. After the declared period, 100% of the invested amount is yours to take with you. If your statement doesn't show this, make sure to ask your HR department at work. And you might also see on here, like this section right here, an outstanding loan balance. If you have a loan against your account, it will show it on here and any payments towards it. Now, the next section is your investment allocation summary. Asset allocation is defined as dividing an investment portfolio among different asset classes. How you choose your investments is usually determined by your risk tolerance and the time until you reach your retirement. Note, many think that your company takes care of this for you. They cannot and will not. This is your account, not theirs. So when you set this up, you go through a risk tolerance and from there, they divide this upon stocks, bonds, target date funds, money market accounts, depending on what's available inside your account. Other terms that you may see on your statement on this section are balanced by asset class. Uh, you may see a current investment mix, asset allocation summary, or simply positions or holdings. Now on your statement, you'll usually see a pie chart the, like the one shown here and how your money is allocated between different asset classes such as stocks, bonds, money market, company stock, other investments. You need to make sure you check the company's website to see what is available to you and what your options are. This is important to know where your money is actually invested. So 
The last section on the most front pages will usually show either your risk profile and or your retirement goals. So some of the larger uh, 401k plans out there will, today will have a section on the front page that tells you what your risk tolerance is based upon your current holdings. Like this one here, risk level is growth. This section usually details if you have enough money at retirement and how close you are to reaching your goals. Some statements will show you that what your balance will be basically worth as a monthly income stream once you reach your retirement date. So folks, this concludes video number one in our series, how to read a 401k statement and actually understand it. I hope it was of value. In the second part of this series, we will cover much more detail, the activity, the transactions, the fees, and other investment options inside your 401k statement. Watch for the next video playing immediately after this one. Thank you.